What's going on guys? It's your boy Pistol P. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a bit different. I found some tips on how to improve the gameplay and just the experience in Fallout 4 on Reddit um, by someone named Greyfell. So I'm going to share those tips with you. They worked for me. It's just to create an overall better experience. It's the issues regarding the mouse aiming and the field of view. So we're gonna go ahead and fix those real quick. All right, let's get started. First, go under your PC and then into documents and then go into my games and then you're gonna find Fallout 4. Go ahead and click into that. So we're gonna be dealing with two files today, fallout4.ini, let's go ahead and drag this right here. And then we're gonna be dealing with fallout4prefs.ini as well. All right, first step is gonna be uh, once you have these two open, the first step is we're going to be altering both files in this step. So uh, you're going to find the controls um, right here. Okay, controls. Also go to controls in the prefs file as well. Controls. So under controls, we're going to go ahead and add one line, and it's going to be this line right here. B mouse acceleration equals zero. We're going to add that to both files. So we're going to add it right here. B mouse acceleration equals zero. And here as well. Both files. And it's case sensitive, so make sure you uh you get all the, the case right all the cases right in the in the phrase or else someone won't recognize it. All right, now once you got that done, we're gonna go on to the second step. It's gonna be adjusting the vertical or y-axis aim of the uh, the mouse. So we're gonna be heading only just in Fallout 4 Diana. We're gonna be just altering that one. Go under controls once again. So don't worry about prefs for this step. Just uh, Fallout 4 Diana. So under controls, you're going to find F mouse heading X scale and F, ma F mouse heading Y scale. So they are going to be the same values. Mine are already changed. So go ahead and make F mouse heading Y scales value double of X scale. So for example, mine is 0 0.021. Make the Y scale double of that, which will be 0 0.042. So go ahead and do that. And it's going to be just in this uh, file, fallout4.ini, not fallout4prefs.ini. All right, and now once you have that done, the big one, field of view, altering that. Since the field of view is set to the uh, field of view for consoles, we don't want that since we play a bit closer on PC. Um, we're going to go ahead and alter both files for this step. You're going to go on your display on both files, which is right around here. We're going to add two lines. It's going to be F default world FOV equals 90 and F default first person FOV equals 90. Uh, make sure that the case matches up to case sensitive. Like I said, both files under display. So this is under display in Fallout 4.ini and it's going to be right here in Fallout 4 prefs.ini. Now, uh, you can change it to a different field of view. 90 is usually the default for PC, uh, FPS PC games. So, I mean, but you know, you could play with it, see what you like and uh, use that right there. And that's it. You just go ahead and save it re and uh, start Fallout 4 and your changes should be in effect. And that's it. It should, you should have a better aiming experience and field of view in Fallout 4 and PC credits go to Greyfell on Reddit. We'll link in the description below. Go ahead and give this video a like and a share with all your Fallout 4 buddies that play the game just to, you know, help them out with these uh, small issues, but they can make a world of difference to the gameplay. So go ahead and give it a like, comment, let me know what you think, and subscribe as well. I do some Fallout 4 gameplays as well as many other games. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Peace.